We are going over independent and dependent variables. My learning target is I can identify independent and dependent variables from tables and graphs, as well as write an equation that represents the relationship between the independent and dependent variables. So in an equation, there are two different types of variables called the independent and dependent variables. So in an equation, y is usually the, um, the variable that represents the dependent variable, and x is the um, letter that represents the independent variable. So an independent variable does not depend on an, another variable. It isn't changed by other variables and it's represented by x. Dependent variable depends on the independent variable. It changes when you change the independent variable. And it is represented by the letter y. So we're gonna do a couple of examples here. So this says Sherlock weighs twice as much as Titan. So our numerical expression for this is we would be multiplying Titan's weight by two because it's twice as much. So my independent variable, the one that we are changing, that's not depending on um, something else, is Titan's weight. Based on this statement, Sherlock's weight is how it depends on Titan's weight, how we figure that out. And my equation is y equals 2 times x. So I'm going to label my x-axis Titan's weight. And my y-axis is Sherlock's weight. It's my dog's names, <laughs> so they keep looking up at me as I'm making this video because I'm saying their name. So Titan's weight is when it's at 1, Sherlock is at 2, when Titan is at 2, Sherlock is at 4, when Titan is at 3, Sherlock is at six, and when Titan is at four, Sherlock is at eight, and we can predict from here Sherlock's at five, he's going to be at ten. So that's what that one's going to look like. All right, this next one. Catherine is four years younger than Abby. So Catherine's age plus four years is going to be Abby's age. All right, my independent variable is going to be Catherine's age. My dependent is Abby's age. And my equation is going to be y equals x plus four. 
So we have Catherine's age. So when Catherine is one, Abby is five. So that means when Catherine is zero, Abby is four. So when Catherine is three, Abby, or sorry, two, Abby is six. When Catherine is three, Abby is seven. When Catherine's four, Abby is eight. When Catherine is five, Abby is going to be nine. When Catherine is six, Abby is going to be ten. Thank you for watching.